Will Harley-Davidson Motor Company survive? Catch you inside. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you join the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website, revelatoralpha.com and click the bell next to the subscribe button for all future videos. So, uh, Harley-Davidson Motor Company, uh, are they gonna survive all the troubles uh, that they've had in terms of their own business model, their own business plan, uh, but also, uh, with the the global crisis that's going on uh, caused by the the uncertainty uh, in the markets uh, by the coronavirus COVID-19. Uh, if we look at the share price as any kind of indicator of the Harley-Davidson, they've actually lost over $10 on their share price. Now that's not them alone. Uh, obviously the whole stock market has taken a hit, but they were on a downward trajectory. In fact, not only last week, were well, analysts even saying that actually they'd they'd been oversold? Uh, you know, the market got overly pessimistic with uh, Hardy Davidson, and they were due to recover a little bit. But then the coronavirus uh, infection, if you will, onto the confidence of the of the stock market actually just made uh, the whole uh, thing even worse for Harley Davidson and compounded their uh, their woes. The key thing here is that we know Matt Levitich, the ex-CEO, has left his post. Jochen Zeitz uh, has uh, taken over. Watch my other video on, on that whole process. But what is the likelihood of uh, any improvement going forward? Now, Jochen Zeitz is only a temporary acting CEO until they can find somebody to fill the post. Now, it really depends if they can survive the downturn in the economy, but also how that will affect dealerships and how that will affect um, the income and their cash flow uh, into the business. Uh, they won't be the first business to go out of business, big corporations. The other thing to consider is that in the past, Harley-Davidson have been bailed out uh, by the uh, United States government. But will they uh, be so fortunate this time? It's no secret that they haven't seen eye to eye with the current administration, Donald Trump. And they've also suffered uh, at the hands of the Trump administration in terms of uh, trade deals and tariffs and all that kind of thing. So, you know, could they uh, develop a better relationship with the United States? government possibly could they look at uh, improving their own products and their own customer relations absolutely could they improve uh, this uh, whole malaise that's going in with the company in terms of the parts availability and watch my other video for that but there's there's a lot of things that they can do but the thing is now they are merely passengers uh, at the whim of the overall market and the confidence um, that that fills customers like you and I, whether we're going to go into dealerships and whether uh, we're going to spend our money. I mean, if you watch my other video on the dealerships, whether they're going to survive as well. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the same thing. It's how much money we're going to be allowed to spend in terms of restrictions, uh, whether dealerships are allowed to stay open, uh, depending on which country and what uh, local restrictions have been placed on them how much confidence we have to go and spend our money and will we be getting value for money and will we be able to get the parts or the motorcycles uh, in the future? Uh, you know, we hope that, you know, there won't be a lot of scaremongering. There will be sensible approach to this by all parties concerned, but we actually don't know. Let's say they've lost a big chunk of their value, um, almost half over the last year of their stock market value. I mean, that's millions and millions and millions of uh, dollars of course the the future is uncertain under the new leadership but Jochen Seitz has had a lot of form with other uh, big corporations and he has turned them around. He was involved with this electrification process uh, under, under the uh, Livewire project and other electric uh, projects that Harley-Davidson have been uh, developing as well. So it's not as if he's a brand new player. He has been part of the makeup uh, for a while now. It's whether 
under his even temporary guidance whether he can steer the ship over choppy waters uh you know but you know we all have a part to play in this not only customers but also dealerships um the the company themselves they have to step up the mark and they may need to change their business uh, model as well and even in the short term they may need to change their strategy over particular models uh that they're producing so you know we will we will see but right now yes uh it's not looking good for harley davidson in terms of stock market but th that's no different from any other corporation right now that is feeling the effects of this uh global thing uh with the coronavirus and has its effect we would expect you know that the longer they can stay in the game for them to be for there to be some kind of recovery now can there be a recovery in terms of harley davidson as their outline plan for 2021 2022 that is yet to be seen that the live wire has uh, crawled uh, into uh, you know into the dealerships yes there are a few uh, there are a few sales going on, but overall, the big criticism of Harley Davidson is value for money and motorcycles just too expensive for what they are. This is one of the big things that the company will have to do to uh, improve their market share is to look at the pricing structure of the motorcycles, regardless of what their cost base is it's actually how much these uh, products are going to cost uh, to the end user to you and i the customers if they can lower that to a price point lower the price point of the entry level uh, motorcycles um whether they can match other manufacturers on quality if you can actually lower the price uh, value that will actually kickstart the harley davidson economy uh, community back into uh back into the brand you would hope, uh, but obviously there are no guarantees here. Anyway, uh, troubling times ahead, I'm sure, but uh, let's see what happens. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com. Click that bell next to the subscribe button and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye now.